been a lot of debate about the rookie of the year. Now, we've seen some great play from both of the rookies that has been mainly in the talks between Andrews and Kalen Clark. These are the two who are kind of taking over the whole rookie of the year debate. And I, I got to let you know, you know, above all, both of these two are making history. They're making a lot of history right now, and I'm very proud that they're doing that because the argument can genuinely go either way of Andrew Reese or Kalen Clark for Rookie of the Year. Now, before I tell you who is the winner and who should win, just hear something. Andrew Reese, she's the only player in the WNBA to ever grab 20-plus rebounds in three consecutive games. Probably going to make that four in tomorrow's game. I don't think they play tonight, but probably going to make that four very soon. Um, and even more, since it's never happened in the WNBA, the last person in the NBA to do this was a Detroit Piston, Ben Wallace, back in 2003. So very elite company there. Then a couple months ago, Kaylin Clark, she broke the record for the most assists in a single game and also the most assists by a rookie in WNBA history. Um, so she's been killing it. And, you know, I, I think it's easy to say. So now you get to hear my pick. And it's easy, man. For me, the rookie of the year is easily Kaylin Clark. And I say this because although it's a valid argument that Angel Reese is the rookie of the year, Kaylin Clark is 1000% the rookie of the year because she's over 60% of her points have all been unassisted buckets. And she's leading her team in points, assists, and in steals. And she's also third in rebounding on her team right now. So she's literally doing everything in every aspect of the game, controlling the offense as well. But based on the eye test, and also what the numbers are telling us, it's, it's hard to ignore this type of impact from a rookie because we haven't really seen things like this besides a few WNBA legends who are not in the game anymore. We haven't seen a rookie impact a game like this in their first year of basketball for a team. So you got to give her rookie of the year here. And of, of course, man, like the, the way she's running the offense and, and conducting the offense, that's a lot of pressure on a rookie. We made fun of her early on in the year because she had some adjustment struggles, which happens. But a lot of people was, was grilling her about it because it's like, oh, I told you she was going to be bad. I told you she wasn't going. And it's like, okay. I mean, it's, it's the first few games, first half of the season. Of course, she's going to struggle. But now she done picked it up. And a lot of those haters is quiet about it. <laughs> They could be silent about it because they seeing her get the routine. And that's just a lot of pressure for a rookie to have to control the entire offense of a game because Angel Reese on her part, very great at what she's doing and, and dominating on the boards and, and also on the defensive end. But she doesn't have the same responsibilities as Kaylin Clark when you talk about what she's doing and how she's impacting the team. Because I think it's safe to say Chicago Sky wouldn't be where they are right now if they didn't have injuries, especially her on the defensive end and what she can do on the offensive glass and on a defensive glass. That's very safe to say. But above all, nobody's asking Angel Reese to run the offense to perfection. Nobody's asking her to score 20 some points a night or score 17 points a night in order for them to win. They have other players to do that. So she just has to play her one role, much how Kaylin Clark has to play her role. But Kaylin Clark has a bigger job to handle on the Indiana Fever because she has to control the offense. She has to score. And obviously she's grabbing rebounds. She's playing defense. Uh, and she's also finding her teammates because she's leading the team in assists as well. So it's just a lot more on her plate than what Angel Reese has right now, whereas she only got to grab boards and play defense. Because you got Kennedy Carter on the Chicago Sky who's helping out Angel Reese in terms of the scoring end. And even then, if you want to look even closer, Camila Cardoso, because she came back, she can also help Angel Reese in terms of grabbing boards and playing defense and protecting the paint. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of different factors here, but above all, I'm going Kaylin Clark for the rookie of the year without a doubt. Um, as far as the team standings, you know, both of these teams are, are not really in perfect shape. <laughs> they're still kind of struggling, but I, I, I'm just glad that they, they're they in the running for, you know, a good matchup in the playoffs because, you know, people compare and they compare to teams and they're saying, oh, she's got to do this, she's got to do this, whatever. These are two different positions and they have two different teams, like two different styles of play on each of these teams. So you got to consider that. And, and I'm just a firm believer, whether you agree you're talking trash before you talk any trash, definitely turn on a game and look at the game because 
far too often i feel like we're in the highlight culture of hey you know i've seen what kaitlin clark did she did this she dropped this many points and all that and we're not seeing how these points actually were accumulated so i'm just i'm just saying man you you gotta tune into the game watch the game because there's some critiques here too i'm not gonna get into the critiques not this episode <laughs>